What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I wanted to make a quick video, hopefully it's quick, on how to fix KitKat SD card issues. I did a video in the past, but it required the Exposed Framework and a bunch of other stuff, and it didn't quite work on the Note 3, but it worked on my other devices. This is an app that has worked on everything I've tried it on so far, from my Nvidia Shield to my Note 3, and now we're gonna do it on here. I'm going to demonstrate why this is important. So I'm going to open up an app that you can get from the Google Play Store called Camera KK. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the settings here. And then in here, you're going to see an option called Storage Source. And I can choose my SD card, which is a 64 gig micro SD card that's in there. Now, if I try to take a picture, it's going to say, insert an SD card before using this. And apps like ES File Explorer are going to not let me do some things. Like, for example, let me copy over the update Super SU. I'm going to try to hit copy and then go to my external SD card and hit paste. And overwrite. See, it's going to ask for root permission. If I deny it root permission, it will fail because it does not have permission to write to the SD card. With root access, uh, ES file, the, the app itself has to specifically update in order to let you write to external SD cards. So while ES File Explorer, once granted root permission, may work, other apps won't, like the camera KK. That didn't work. So if I go to here and I grant this Super SU and hit save, if I go back to ES File Explorer and I go to my internal storage and I go to like expose disabler, copy, just using a different file, for example, and then paste, now it's in there and it's finished and it's done because it has root permission and it has permission to write to the external storage. So apps like Camera KK and ATorrent Pro. If you try to move stuff to the SD card on here, it's not gonna work either. Apps that request external SD card access are not going to work. So now I'm done talking about that, let's go ahead and jump into how to do this. There's a couple different apps you can use. SD Fix is, there's two apps that I recommend. This is the app I've used many times and it's worked perfectly. And this is another app by Jay Rummy who has a bunch of other apps as well, like Root Browser, a font installer, BusyBox installer, ROM, in ROM Toolbox Pro. He's got a lot of great apps. So if this first app does not work for you, then try J Rummy's app. You've got two options in the Play Store that work. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the method that's worked for me in the past, and let's go ahead and install this. This is, again, there's two different methods. It doesn't matter which one you use. In fact, if this one doesn't work, try the next one. So now I'm gonna open this up and it says, welcome. This app's going to modify the configuration of the device to allow for write access to the internal SD card. So the internal micro SD card. So you assume full responsibility, continue, please wait. Everything looks ready to go. The modification's ready to be made. I'm gonna go ahead and check this little box right here and then hit continue. If you're not rooted, this is not going to pop up. So grant, it says complete the modifications done you need to reboot your device. So I'm gonna go ahead and power it off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and power it back on. All right, so now if you open up that app called SD Fix, <laughs> again, you can choose whether you want SD Fix or SD Fixer, you, I'm trying to find it, where is it? Oh, it's called Next App, that's what it was. Next App SD Fix. So continue, please wait. Everything looks ready to go, continue. I'm still getting an issue where it says insert an SD card and every time I reboot my phone it says that it needs to make the modification continue and it says complete modification you must reboot the device. So uh, normally it would say ready to go the modification's already been made or it doesn't need to be made. So this is a really good example of trying out that other app. Uh, again this worked on my Note 3, my Nvidia Shield, it worked on my other video. It was like here, here's how to do this. Oh, great, it's not working <laughs> on my Note 3, but it worked in my NVIDIA Shield. So it's really annoying when you're trying to do a tutorial and something doesn't work. So 
We're going to try SD KitKat Fixer. It was updated, ooh, recently actually. So we're going to open that up. And it says status, not fixed. There we go. So now we're going to hit fix. And it's going to ask for root permission. And when it pops up here, we're going to go ahead and allow it. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and hit grant. And my phone just rebooted. So we're going to see what happened. This is a prime example that SD Fix app worked fine on my Note 3, Nvidia Shield, and other devices. Hopefully, this app by Jay Rummy will work on here. All right, here's the moment of truth. We're going to find that SD Fixer app right here. I already granted it root earlier. Why is it asking me root again? Hey, it says it's fixed. It says it's freaking fixed. Okay. Nice. So let's power it off. It, 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 the first time it asked for root and it didn't fix it. And uh, then it asked for root again and it said it was fixed. I was starting to like think maybe I should upload this to my second channel and call this a uh, failure video <laughs> so now it said fixed after the second try of using jrummy's app and hopefully when it boots up camera kk will no longer say insert an sd card and i can tell apps like titanium backup to look in the external storage instead of the internal storage all right so moment of truth once again sd fix not fixed now it says fixed success what the heck? We're going to tell it in here to go to the external storage. And you can see right there it says EXTSD. So it's for some reason apps can read just fine, but not right. So we're going to go ahead and try to back up something like the, uh, this really good app right here. It'll say insufficient storage. Daggummit, this didn't work. All right, this is the one that we used before in the last video. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the APK, go ahead and download it, and then install it. And then it's gonna say that the framework needs to be, or the module needs to be activated. So we're gonna go to expose installer, go to modules, and then that. And here, going to install. Okay. Well, it was. Uh, it's like my root's been messing up. It, my root itself is messing up on here because I had the exposed framework and uh, Greenify was working just fine. I'm going to go ahead and try to get S off on it and see how that works and if that fixes maybe something to do with the uh, S on. I, I, don't, I don't even freaking know at this point. We're not having any luck at all. Titania Backup's still going to tell us that we need that. Oh, that, okay. I'm having root issues. That's all there is to it. I'm just having root issues. All right, after all that trouble and those failures, uh, you know how I mentioned something about having S off? Like, my framework wasn't saying installed and I kept having to reboot. Let's go ahead and show you what I've done since I recorded that part. I went ahead and obtained S off. So now there's no protection on my device. It's not locked at not even the slightest bit in any way at all. So now when I go to my framework, it should no longer say that I don't have it installed and I need to install it. And also uh, my SD card fix, both of those apps will work fine. You will see that here shortly. I now have SD card write access on my HTC One M8 Google Play Edition since we are now rooted and we're S off. So if I open up the app called SD Fix, it says fixed. I don't need to fix it. And if I open up the other app called Next App, if I hit continue, it says no action required. And now, Earlier, you saw how Titanium Backup failed. Check this out. Open Titanium Backup. Say I got uh, pretty far in. I want to go ahead and sort by install date. 
where is my trials? Trials. I've gotten pretty darn far in trials so far. So I'm going to hit backup. Look what it says at the top there. Just, just, just bear with me. Backup complete. It, and then it says one backup. It no longer says failed. And look at the overview. It says ext underscore sd. So this app works on my Note 3, my NVIDIA Shield, my HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. It works on all of my devices. With this one, I had to actually be S off instead of S on. And if I go to my exposed framework, it should no longer say that I need to install. Well, I will go ahead and install it because... Um, I haven't installed it since I got S off. And so now, now what was probably happening before was it didn't have permission to write to the system. I guarantee you that's what it was. It changes made to the system were not sticking. They weren't staying. So it, whenever you rebooted, it no longer was fixed. It was broke. So now let's go ahead and try to open up the exposed framework. And since Again, I hadn't ran it since I obtained S off. So now that I'm S off and I ran it, if I go to my exposed framework, it should say framework. It doesn't have red text telling me to install it. You have to have S off on this particular device in order to make changes to the system because they block you from having write access. I remember that happening with the HTC One M7 and I did a video I can link to it in the description, but it's I think it's irrelevant now. People are at least commenting saying that it is. It no longer works. But you had to install a zip in recovery that gave you right access to the system. And now that I mess off, it, it, the framework's installed. The SD card's fixed. I can open Titanium Backup. Camera KK is the only thing that says, please insert a SD card before using the camera. So everything else is working as far as SD card. So that's how you fix it. You need to either check out SD fix by next app and press fix, or you can do SD fix by J Rummy and it says fixed. So that was my issue. My only issue was my system. See, right, it even says right there system etc permissions. Every time I rebooted, it was no longer it, all the things it did to the system were getting reversed because I didn't have access to write to the system or it wasn't even doing it in the first place. So there you go. Video was longer than I wanted it to be, but that was not my fault. Stupid freaking S on. I highly recommend S offing. My video will be linked in the description below to obtain S off on your HTC One M8. Doesn't matter if it's the Sense, the Google Play Edition, doesn't matter. If you, you download Firewater, you run some commands, your S off like you saw at the beginning of this part of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. It helps out the channel more than you probably know. If you're new here, please hit the little red subscribe button below and it'll notify you when I post future videos. And please also follow me on Twitter and Instagram all links will be in the description below. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.